This video is brought to you by Ridge Wallet, a slim front pocket wallet available in carbon fiber and titanium. With more than 250,000 sold, a lifetime guarantee and free shipping, get 10% off with the code GOLDFISH at RidgeWallet.com. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So as you know, Thursday means it's Fishbowl Thursday here in Instant Deck Tech land, and we have a pretty exciting standard combo list to look at today. So you might remember last week on Fishbowl Thursday, we looked at this modern Drake combo deck, and we're kind of one-upping that deck by having a standard Drake combo deck this week. This is Gruesome Drake Combo, and it comes to us from Jonathan VK. So thank you so much to Jonathan VK for sending in a really unique looking deck. Deck. A quick reminder before we break down Gruesome Drake Combo for Standard. If you enjoy this deck and you want your own deck considered for a future Fishbowl Thursday, make sure to leave that link in the comments or you can email me over at saffronolive at mtggoldfish.com. Anyway, let's break down Gruesome Drake Combo. So to understand this deck, we got to start by talking about the non-combo pieces of the deck. So a lot of this deck is card draw, removal, and cantrips. We start off with Opt and Charter Course and Chemistry's Insight. And the main reason these cards are important is for the combo, which we will talk about in a minute. To actually work, we need to get 20 instants and sorceries in our graveyard. So being able to Opt to get a card in our graveyard and also draw a card or Charter Course to draw a couple cards, discard a card, get a spell in our graveyard, Chemistry's Insight to draw some cards, get a spell in the graveyard, really, really key to the primary plan of this deck. So these cards keep us churning through our deck. They find us our combo pieces. More importantly, they get our combo pieces in the graveyard because we are a graveyard-based combo deck. We need spells and specific creatures in the graveyard for this plan to work. So a bunch of cantrips to get things started. Essence Scatter gives us a little bit of defense countering your creature, kind of like a removal spell that works on the stack, while also getting another spell in the graveyard. And then we have our actual removal. Lightning Strikes, Deafening Clarion. Deafening Clarion just sweeps away the board, can also gain us a huge chunk of life with our Drake that we'll talk about in a minute. And then Lightning Strike, Really important because if we want to win the game right away with our combo, we need 20 spells in our graveyard, which is a lot of spells. But if we can send a lightning strike or two at our opponent's face, it reduces the number of spells we need in our graveyard to actually win the game. So early game removal also goes to the face. Our big combo piece, though, is Gruesome Menagerie. So Gruesome Menagerie basically reanimates something that costs one mana, something that costs two mana, and something that costs three mana, four or five mana. So it's already a good deal, and we've seen some Golgari decks just play this for value. Get back a Llanowar Elves, get back a Merfolk Branch Walker, get back a Jade Light Ranger, and you're getting a pretty good deal for your mana. However, in our deck, we are trying to get three specific creatures in the graveyard, one of each of those mana costs, so when we resolve Gruesome Menagerie, we just win the game. So what are we getting in the graveyard? And here, this is where things get a little bit janky, but also really fun. So, our one drop is Torch Courier. Torch Courier has haste, and we can Sack Torch Courier to give another target creature haste until end of turn. So that's our one drop. Our two drop is Calvary Drillmaster. This one comes into play, gives a creature plus two plus oh in first strike. So this helps reduce the number of spells we need in our graveyard because it pumps our big finisher, which is Enigma Drake. So Enigma Drake, that's our three drop. It has power and toughness equal to the number of instants and sorceries in our graveyard, and our deck is built around getting instants and sorceries in our graveyard. So the idea is we are going to get one of each of these creatures, at least, in our graveyard, either by discarding them to Charter Courses and Chemistry's Insights, or by playing them and blocking with them in the early game. And then, in the late game, once we have a bunch of stuff in our graveyard from all of our cantrips, we cast our Gruesome Menagerie, we get back Torch Courier, we get back Calvary Drillmaster, we get back Enigma Drake, we sack Torch Courier to give our Enigma Drake haste, we also pump our Enigma Drake with Calvary Drillmaster, assuming we have 18 Instances of Sorceries in our graveyard, which the entire rest of our deck is Instances of Sorceries, we just one shot our opponent with a hasty 20 powered Enigma Drake and I gotta say people are probably not gonna see this coming like who expects to be one shot by Gruesome Menagerie getting back this janky pile of creatures that you definitely would not expect to see in standard deck so that's our combo stack our stuff in the graveyard resolve our big reanimation spell Torch Courier to give our Drake case Calvary Drillmaster give our Enigma Drake a little bit of pumpage smash our opponent one attack win the game with Enigma Drake mana base wise 
guys, we got a lot of different dual lands. We are kind of four colors to cast all of our stuff. Some shock lands, some check lands, some basic lands. In the sideboard for control, negate to protect our combo. Nezahal to be an uncounterable finisher. Essence Skater, Fiery Cannonade, help against creature decks, wrathing the board, countering our opponent's threats. Fountain of Renewal to gain some life. And that is the insanity of gruesome Drake combo for standard. And that's been our Fishbowl Thursday instant deck deck for this week. So thanks again to Jonathan VK for sending it in. And again, if you'd like your own deck considered for a future edition of Fishbowl Thursday, make sure to leave that link in the comments or email me, saffronalevamtggoldfish.com. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.